How do we vote in such a way that we reflect Christian morals in American government, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like if we were to start legislating things like gossiping, you know, lying. Oh, oh, well, yeah, like legislating morality. Well, yeah. we, don't, we don't legislate against yeah. everything. I mean, that would be the nanny state. We don't want the nanny state. We want freedom, but we have to legislate on the big issues, life, liberty, those kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. There has to be legislation. I mean, in fact, this was talked about today in the, in the hearings regarding the Supreme Court. There's a whole number of papers called the Federalist Papers. I don't know if any of you have read them, but there's a famous quote by James Madison, the father of our Constitution in Federalist 51. It said, if men were angels, no government would be necessary. Now, if you think about that, if we were people that were angels, we did not have a sin nature, would we need a government? What's the purpose of government? To prevent people from doing evil. That's most of the time what the government's purpose is, to prevent people from doing evil. Uh, and one of the problems is, is that a lot of people in America today think that people are inherently good and we don't need any restraint on people. But I ask you this question. Let me just do a little survey here. What do you think would happen if the police walked into this particular um, room here tonight and broadcast this all over the local area that they said tomorrow from midnight to midnight you can commit any crime you want and it will never be prosecuted? What do you think would happen? Would Best Buy survive? Would the Lexus dealer survive? How many people would be murdered or raped? Because if you re remove that restraint, there's going to be trouble. I mean, New York City had this in 1977 when they had a blackout. What happened? It was a jungle. I mean, it was every man for himself. So people, it's easy, it's easy to be bad, it's hard to be good. That's why we need some kind of government. The question is how much government, and that's something we're always debating. Thank you. Thanks, Trevor.